Alright, hey YouTube, Nate here. Welcome to Macintosh Geek Weekly on August 6, 2010. Alright, let's just jump right into it and start with some tech news here. We're going to talk about the RIMS press conference. They released their new BlackBerry Torch. And it's interesting that they're now releasing another touchscreen phone after the storm. This one has a slide-out keyboard and it looks similar to the Palm Pre, the skinny design with the skinny keyboard. It's the same black keyboard, Blackberry keyboard that people have known and loved for years now. But the thing with the touchscreen phones, it seems like Blackberry users who are loyal to their Blackberries tend to not really like the touchscreens. And what makes it even more complicated is that it's on AT&T. So the users who are looking for a touchscreen might tend to go towards the iPhone instead of the Blackberry Torch. There might be the few in-between users who like the super businessy Blackberry aspect with the touchscreen aspect of the iPhone who might go for the in-between with the new Blackberry Torch. But it'll be interesting to see how successful this new phone will be. Alright, moving on to our second and main topic for the day because frankly, not much happened this week. We're going to talk about the Apple press conference that's most likely going to be happening in September. Now some sources are speculating that it could happen in the middle of this month, but Quite frankly, it doesn't seem likely that's going to happen. Apple has been known to do their media event all the time in September since God knows when, a long time ago. But the fact of the matter is Apple tends to stay in September. No one really knows why then. I guess back to school iPods. Who really knows? But let's just get right into it. Um, a lot of people obviously are speculating new iPod touches. I personally think these new iPod touches are going to replicate the iPhone 4 Maybe not completely, there's probably still going to be the slight differences, but I think they're going to get the new boxier look that the iPhone 4 went for. Along with that, some people are also thinking that the iPhone, the iPod Touch, is going to now have FaceTime. Uh, no. I honestly think that is far-fetched as far-fetched can be. I think this iPod might finally get a camera, but that camera is not going to have the FaceTime technology with it. It's just going to be the simple point-and-shoot, possibly video too, most likely. I think that's going to be a video and picture camera, and I also think they're going to add picture camera onto the iPod Nano. Now, I guess we'll just jump right into the iPod Nano then, along with that. The iPod Nano is probably going to get slimmed down, obviously, but I think they're going to stick with this design they have. They're obvious, I hope they don't go back to the chubby one. I think they're going to stick with this, the skinny, rounded edges, and I think they'll probably just add some slight interface changes, you know, add the picture camera along with the video camera. Because that's really strange in the first place that Apple had only a video camera on this device. Along with that, what I'm hoping to see is a new iPod Shuffle with actual physical buttons on the iPod. I don't think this is going to happen. This is just a personal request from me to Apple. But I have a feeling the iPod Shuffle probably will just kind of get gazed over. I think a lot of people are starting to kind of phase out of the iPod Shuffle. It was a really nice device for a while, but I think people just you don't really like it compared to, the, say, the iPod Nano. So, yeah. Also, some sources are also speculating some updates to the MacBook Air. Now this is weird because typically Apple doesn't have anything to do with their Mac Macintosh lineup in this event. It's typically usually only their iPod lineup. So I really doubt that this will happen. And another reason being that, well, frankly, the MacBook Air is just, it just should end soon. I don't know anyone personally who's gotten one. I don't even know any YouTube followers who have one. Some of you might, but I think the MacBook Air was kind of a flop. And I think Apple probably will start just phasing out of that, too. So, that about sums up the September event. I'm hoping for the updated iPod Touch and the iPod Nano, and hopefully the iPod Shuffle will all get updated. And who knows, maybe we'll see, you know, an iPod Touch Nano or something, but I highly doubt that. Apple has stuck with this lineup for years. Along with that, maybe the iPod Classic will even get a camera. Who knows? Um, that would probably be a nice thing to add on. I mean, it is supposed to be bigger and better than the iPod Nano, but it doesn't have a camera. So that would be a nice touch there too, and I think Apple's just going to stick with that lineup because it's worked for them for years, and I don't see it ever changing in the near future. I don't think there's any reason for them to add anything extra. Apple is a company who's known for keeping things simple. You have options, but you don't have too many options. It's nice to just stick with stuff that works, rather than having a bunch of stuff that work in different ways, then you're just like, I don't know what to get. 
Apple, you know that they're going to have great products, little to choose from, but sometimes not a lot to choose from is a good thing because it's nice to have just nice, clean product lineup that's easy to choose from. Alright, that about sums up the news for this week. There wasn't really a lot that went on, as I said. Hopefully you guys will stay tuned for next week and hopefully there'll be a lot more to cover because this week was kind of just blah. So stay tuned for next week and maybe there'll be some more rumors to cover about Apple's media event because there's always new stuff that people are speculating and always new stuff for me to cover. So before we go, I do have a question here that I put up. Uh, this question comes from... Hold on a second. Okay, so this week's question comes from a love baby 41 they ask, where is your favorite place to eat? Now, I think when it comes to food, there's so many different like areas of food service. So we'll start with fast food. Now, my favorite fast food restaurant is hard to say. I mean, when it comes to burger joints, I like Burger King over McDonald's. When it comes to taco joints, I like Taco John's over Taco Bell. But there are days where I'll eat at McDonald's or Taco Bell. I mean, they both have different things. But when, when it comes to the true champion of all fast food restaurants, you gotta go with White Castle. White Castle is the pinnacle of all delicious fast food and oh boy is it delicious. And then when it comes to restaurants, I mean you got the chains that are kind of everywhere. When it comes to those, I'm a really big fan of Ruby Tuesdays. I really like their strawberry lemonade and I like how they have endless fries on a lot of their entrees so that's really cool. And then when it comes to local eateries that probably you've never heard of, Wampox Restaurant, represent, I work there. And it's delicious homemade onion rings for the win. Alright, one last thing we're going to cover. I'm going to do a quick movie review. Just a few days ago, I went and saw Dinner for Schmucks. I'm not going to get too in-depth like I did with the Inception review, but here's the thing. Did it make me laugh? Yes. Would I recommend go seeing it? Yes. Could it have been better? Yeah. The main problem with the movie is it's just, it's been done way too many times. It's your typical situational comedy. Everything that could go wrong does go wrong. And just some of the things they did were kind of too easy, I think. They were just easy laughs. But it was an enjoyable movie. I would recommend go seeing it. It's hilarious. I just think it could have been better. So that about sums up today's episode. Thank you for watching and stay tuned next Friday for the last episode that's going to be record recorded in this house for a while because then I'm going to be packing off and going to college. That doesn't mean the episodes are ending, that just means a change of scenery. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next week. See ya.